Hello there, I am Dr. C.N. Okolubo. You're welcome to my YouTube channel where we'll be solving problems relating to business mathematics, business statistics, analysis for business decision, as well as other related topics. I want to encourage you as you go through these videos with me, you have your paper, your pen, and your calculator to solve these problems with me. Also, please do like, share, and subscribe so that you can receive notifications for upcoming videos that we'll be uploading. Thank you. Hello, thank you for joining me. As you can see on the workboard just before I came in, uh, we have a question uh, given to us in this form and then it's required that we interpret the question. But then the first thing we have to do is solving the problem using Northwest Corner method or any of the method solving uh, transportation um, problem is to place this question in a table. Let's quickly do that. Please follow me. We have a situation where we have the factory. We have two factories here. And the factories here for Magbara and Lokuja rep representing supply. Then we have four locations for the warehouse, north, south, east, and west. That will be representing the demand. From here, we see that we're going to have a two by four matrix. The supply will be in the row section, and then we have the demand will be in the column section. Here, we're looking at the transport costs from Agbara, the supply from Agbara to these locations. We have the cost, the unit cost, and then also we have from Lokoja to all the uh, locations for the um, for the demand for the warehouse. So let's solve. Let's uh, represent these values in a table. In doing that, uh, I've told you before that we are going to have the the supply, which is in this case our factory, will be on the row, and then the warehouse will be on the column. So I'll write here representing warehouse up here and then we're going to have north, uh, south, east and west like this okay and then we're going to have um, the two factories Agbara and Lokuja here we're going to be on this Right. The total for the warehouse will be here. Then the requirements 900, 1000, 500, and 200. So you can see I have placed these values as the requirements for the warehouse 900, 1500, and 200. Now for the capacity of the of the factory for Agbara it is 1200 for Lokoja it is 1400 so 1200 1400 have been placed in their oh sorry this is the wrong place to place them okay it should they should be in the total we have total of factory to a factory that will be 1,200 and 1,400. Right, this is how it should be. So if you add this up, these two should give you 2,600. If you add these values to give you 2,600. Next thing we'll do is to represent the unit cost of transport in this table. And we're going to do that simply. Let's um, put our small boxes here. We'll put the small box here, put the small box here, put the small box here, put the small box here. So that from Agbara to the north, Agbara to north, Agbara to south, Agbara to east, Agbara to west, 
are these values here. You can see them. So then we'll put 40, 20, 15, and 10. All right. From local jack to north, local jack to south, local jack to east, local jack to west, are these values. So then we have 30, 10, 15, and then we have 20. All right, so we have a familiar table for us to work with in solving the problem of northwest corner. Solving the protrusion problem using the northwest corner method. Let's quickly solve this problem by starting off with um, looking at the top left corner here. We'll start from here. From here, we see that there's a demand from the north of 900. And then we'll, what we'll now do to fill this, we'll put in the 900 here. And this will cross out this here. We'll see how um, a balance of 300 um, goods in the Abara factory. What we'll now do to place the next thing is to come to this cell here to exhaust this. Remember, we'll go from one row to the other. So what we'll now do is to take this remaining 300 in Agbara and place it in South. We place this in South. We cross out this to become zero. And this one is reduced to 700. What do we now do next? Can we still go to any of this? Can Agbara still supply East or West? No, why can I supply? Because we're exhausted. We have 900 plus 300, 1200, so it's been exhausted. Now, what we'll now do is to come to this um, the next row. We we'll now come to can we can we get can the north get from Lokoja? No, we cannot because Lokoja has been exhausted. I mean, the north has been fully satisfied, as you can see. And then we we'll come here to look at south is still having a um, demand of uh, 700 and you can get it from local just so we'll come here and fill in 700 here so we, we will exhaust the southern demand and then here is reduced to 700 what do we now do next we have 500 from the east yet to be filled so our local jersey has 700. So we're feeling 500 here. Okay. And then this east is fully satisfied, as you can see. Then we'll move to, we'll see how uh, excess of 200. 200 can go to west. 200 will go to west. From local jersey, 200 will go to west to, to fill this uh, demand from the west. So we'll have 200 here. This goes to zero and this becomes zero. So once you've been able to clear out and zero out your, your capacity and your requirements, you know that you have been able to fulfill this um, requirement. Meanwhile, remember I told you earlier in an earlier video that in order to know whether you've done the right thing, you check the number of rows plus the number of columns minus one. This will give you the number of cells that you should fill. In this case, we have um, how many rows? We have two rows. How many columns? We have four columns. This is two plus four gives us six minus one. This gives us five. So let's ask, let's find out. Do we fill five cells? One, two, three, four, five. So we're correct. With five cells have been filled. Now to know the transport costs, to know the transport costs, we'll now take each column against the each row against the column. So from Agbara in this case, Agbara to North. That's the first the first one is 900 times 40. Okay, we are from Agbara to South. I trust you are falling to South. Agbara to south, we have 300 times 20. We we'll now have from Lokoja, Lokoja to south. As you can see, 
from Lokoja to South, we are going to have 700 times 10. Okay, from Lokoja again to East, from Lokoja to East, give us 500 times 15. Okay, then from Lokoja again to West. From Lokoja to West, we are going to have 200 times 20. Alright, so let's find out the total value for this so that we will look at. This is 36,000. Okay, next one, 300 times 20 is 6,000. We have 6,000. 700 times 10 gives us 7,000. 500 times 15 gives us 7,500. Then 200 times 20 gives us 4,000. All right, okay. Can you add this up quickly? All right, so we have 36 plus 6 plus 7,000. So what you should have should be 60,500. So this is the cost of transportation using the Northwest Corner method. I want to appreciate you very much for joining me so far in this uh, series that we have been going through. We've looked at the Northwest Corner method. In the next video, we are going to take some of these examples and juxtapose them against using the other method which is called the least cost sell method. Thank you very much. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do like and share these videos with your friends. Thank you very much.